uh, welcome back tutorial video of drawing the body plot so uh, just in previous slide we have studied uh, um, first two step and third uh, we are discussing here the third step so here in, in case of third step uh, uh, till now we have discussed here that means the second terms now the third terms will be 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0010 omega uh, and it, it has the column frequency 1000 and it contributed slope again minus 20 degree because your individual term of g omega is there we do not have to consider uh, the constant terms or any terms which uh, which is included here only we we'll, we have looked at that how many uh, terms are there of g omega or g i mean uh, s or g omega like that so because you have only one terms in denominator here g omega that's why it is minus 20 db in uh, previously it was minus 40 db slope and now this minus 40 db and it uh, this term contributed minus 20 db total slope beco becomes minus 60 db per decade okay so this is the uh, table which gives you the magnitude uh, called magnitude table or uh, contribution of magnitude table now the fourth step is to choosing the uh, lowest and highest corner frequency or any, uh, we can say frequency now uh, see here we have only two current frequency omega c1 is equal to 10 omega c2 is equal to 1000 now what we'll do by our sake to draw the graph we'll take the lowest frequency any frequency less than 10 you can take 9 8 7 5 4 0 0.1 whatever you you like but for the convenience purpose uh, and making the calculation easy i have taken omega l is equal to 1 you may take anything 5 7 and the graph and your uh, final plot will be same no changes will be there and one the highest frequency which should have more value than 1000 you can take 2000 4000 8000 whatever you may but it should be uh, more than this omega c2 so i have taken omega as 10000 so it will be little bit more easier to i mean draw the graph now uh, the fifth step is to find the magnitude at each frequency. Now I have in, um, we had two corner frequency omega c1 and omega c2 and now including this omega l and omega h we have total four corner frequency. So finding out the first corner, I mean first uh, ma uh, magnitude at this frequency omega l is equal to 1. So I will um, make sure that you have just only remember only two formula. The first one is that magnitude at omega is equal to omega l is equal to 1 is equal to 20 log first term so what is our first term 1000 divided by g omega this will uh, be equal to 20 log 1000 divided by g omega because we are taking mod mod uh, if you are taking mod so g omega part will become omega so which will have 20 log 1000 divided by omega l and now 1000 is equal to 20 log 1000 divided by the value of omega l is equal to 1 1000 by 1 and it is equal to 60 db so the magnitude at omega l is nothing but 60 db next we are finding out the magnitude at omega is equal to omega c1 the similar formula will be used i mean similar this one 20 log first term that means 1000 mod of first term 1000 divided by g omega at omega is equal to omega c1 and here it is 20 log uh, 1000 divided by 10 so uh, which will be 10, 10 because the omega c1 value is equal to 10 so we have put here 10 1000 divided by 10 and we have 40 db now from the third each case whatever the body plot you are going to solve from i mean the first two terms will have the same formula and from the second term onwards you have the common formula from any uh, omega is equal to omega c2 we have the formula slope from omega c1 to omega c2 because till omega c1 already we have found, found the magnitude so slope from omega c1 to omega c2 into log omega c2 by c1 plus whatever the magnitude we found out in at omega c1 so magnitude at omega is equal to omega c1 so put this value slope from omega c1 to omega c2 go to the table go to see this is the uh, value of omega c1 this is the value of omega c2 so between this omega c1 and omega c2 our slope will be minus 40 and between uh, from omega c2 further the our slope will be minus 60 and be, be, before that minus 40 uh, before omega c1 our slope will be minus 20 so uh, the slope between omega c1 to omega c2 is minus 40 log 
omega c2 value is 1000 divided by omega c1 value is 10 and plus the slope at omega c1 scale to 40 so we have minus 8 uh, this becomes minus 80 plus 40 is equal to minus 40 db and the final one again the formula will continue even though you have 5 terms 6 terms 7 terms whatever the terms will be there it will be similar pattern you have to uh, write the formula slope from omega c2 to omega h into log omega h divided by omega c2 if there is a, another term like omega c3 omega c4 so we could have kept here omega c2 to omega c3 but here uh, we have the final frequency omega h so we'll put omega c2 to omega h into log omega h divided by omega c2 plus the uh, previous magnitude m at omega h to omega c2 so the slope from omega c2 to omega h is equal to minus 60 log minus 60 because this is from this is the value of omega c2 and for afterwards and after minus uh, sorry omega c2 the slope will be minus 60 only so this is minus 60 log the value of omega is equal to 10,000 divided by 1,000 which will be equal to um, minus 60 only minus 60 and minus 40 we have minus 100 db so now we have uh, Matted at each level that means at omega h we have minus 100 degree at omega c1 uh, c2 we have minus 40 degree at omega c1 we have minus uh, plus 40 degree and at omega l we have 60 degree so go to the semi log graph plot this is the semi log graph plot uh, semi log graph where it it is divided in such a way that the first will be uh, started with um, uh, 1 or 0 0.1 or whatever your value is and the second thick line is the multiple of 10 that means if we are taking you consider it is 1 it will become 10 again this will become 100 this will become 1000 10,000 and 10, uh, 1 lakhs and it goes on if you are starting with 0 0.1 the here it will become 1 because you multiply with 10 1 and the total uh, um, I mean values will be nothing but equal to uh, 10 here so if you are putting it like if you are taking the terms first one is one then uh, the, this one is second third fourth fifth six seven eight nine and this is ten after that after ten it will become twenty thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty nineteen and one hundred and then after hundred it is two hundred three hundred so on so this horizontal axis we will be taking the frequency in radian per second and this vertical is nothing but magnitude what what we have found so at the first omega l is equal to 1 we have taken at omega l is equal to 1 we have magnitude 60 so we'll put here 60 now how we how we are going to put this value of magnitude so you take any point uh, as a zero like what i have considered zero here because uh, here um, maximum value is plus 60 and minimum value is minus 100 so i have adjusted in such a way that it can be uh, kept zero to 60 here and 0 to minus 100 here so and uh, consider 20 db a space between each line so here uh, uh, why it is called semi log graph because this is the normal axis and this is the log axis logarithmic axis so now put uh, these uh, values in similar fashion what we have found out like at omega l is equal to 1 we'll put 60 db Omega C1 will put 40 dB at Omega C2 will put minus 40 dB and Omega H will put minus 100 dB. Um, and one more thing is that this this part, I mean the frequency part, uh, it has to be started with your lowest frequency only. Your lowest frequency only. Like uh, if your lowest frequency is um, one, you can start with one. If your lowest frequency is 0 0.1, you can start with 0 0.1. If your low, lowest frequency is 0 0.01, you can start with 0 0.01. And then the next uh, line, I mean, if you are starting with 0 0.1, the next thick line will be multiple of 10. That means 0 0.1, 110, and it it goes on. So this is the um, term. Uh, I mean, this is the semi log plot and in a similar fashion you have to uh, put these values and uh, one more thing is that this part vertical part will always skip for magnitude values and the horizontal axis will always uh, keep frequencies value so thanks uh, for uh, watching this in